How's it going everyone? My name is Case and today I am broadcasting to you from my home garage instead of TFL Studios because the foothills of Colorado here just got dumped on with snow. We've got a bunch on the ground and so we're all going to be working from home at the beginning of this week. Uh, and so I decided I'm going to shoot just a little video of a cold start on my 1994 Ram 2500 Cummins. Uh, it is tuned, so it doesn't do great in the cold, but it's not super cold today. And we're also going to get it out on the road and see how it does in the snow, because, like I said, there's a lot on the ground. Check it out. It's uh, it's pretty pretty deep out here. Oh my god. You can see on the top of my roommate's truck just how much we got. It's uh, It's definitely more than a foot. My other roommate's Tacoma is pretty much gone. Let's see, look at that. The Sequoia has a little spoiler on the back of it. And my truck, I dug out pretty much all the way halfway through yesterday, but it's still afterwards snowed even more. And I took this truck on the road to go by the grocery store and to see just how bad the roads were and truck was doing pretty well in the snow so I'm thinking I'm gonna do the same today just get it out and show you guys how this truck does both with a cold start and how it drives through this deep of snow so let's dig it out Well, she's running, actually sounds pretty good. Uh, this truck is tuned. The timing is more advanced than it was from the factory, so it doesn't start in the cold quite as easily, but it's only about 27 degrees out, not actually that bad. So yeah, it could be worse. I'm gonna give this truck a little bit of time to warm up, and we're gonna get it out on the road, but for you it's gonna be like no time at all. how buried that Hyundai is. Ooh, it's like up to its bumpers. <laughs> it's pretty wild. Well, this hill might have me beat, but uh, I'm not giving up quite yet. So let's, uh, let's give it one more shot. See if I can back up a little bit, carry some momentum. Got so much snow in the bed of this truck, you'd think uh, 
it would be weighted down enough for it. Let's try it out. Oof. Not even close there. Alright, one more try, and then I'm turning around. Oh. Oh, keep that momentum. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Axel hopping. But she's still walking. This is where this hill starts to flatten out a little bit. We're still going. <laughs> it's hopping so hard. Dig. Dig truck. Dig. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I'm probably more excited than you guys are, but uh, we got to the top of the hill. Hell yeah. I just went out and ran some errands, and you can see instead of a snowplow on my street, they've got a big tractor pushing snow, which is pretty funny. Now, actually, since I've, uh, since I've left, you can see that some of the snow has melted off, the sun's come out, so it's warming up a little bit and turning to slush, but it's still gonna be interesting pulling up onto my driveway. We're gonna see how a modern truck does getting out of here. It's probably gonna crush it. Oh, look at that. Tacoma, easy money. See that truck actually, it's got a rear locker, it's got a traction system that can adjust to whatever terrain you're on. I've got open differentials and I just have to drive it. Let's take a look at how much snow is actually in the back of my truck. You can see it's coming up almost to the top of the bed rail on this whole side. And yeah, I, I don't know how many pounds of snow are in the bed of my truck, but it almost looks like the truck might be sagging a little bit in the back because of it. These are pretty old, slightly softened and, and worn out leaf springs on the back. Not too bad, it's definitely not the best snow vehicle in the whole world, but my truck has gotten around just fine when a lot of other vehicles have been getting stuck in this area, so I'm pretty proud of it. Anyways, that's all for this video. Be sure to go back to TFL Classics. I'm going to be bringing you all more videos with classic trucks doing things like this off-road and testing them out. We'll see you next time.